What's up, everybody? Before I get into this video, I wanted to shamelessly plug my new vlog that I just posted on this channel. Link will be right here. Video will be posted right here as well. Go check that out. A lot of great footage from the Bahamas national team as we made history in our pre-Olympic qualifying tournament. Don't want to miss that. Now we can get started. So before we get to this, Noah Lyle's comments sparked a lot of controversy around the NBA. You know, the thing that hurts me the most is that I have to watch the NBA Finals and they have world champion on their head. World champion of what? <laughs> the United States? <laughs> I had to sit here for the last couple of days and just see some of my favorite players from the NBA just be wrong, 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 wrong. To me, it's common sense, but maybe, maybe I'm the problem. So what I genuinely think, Snow Lyles is right. How can your league be called the National Basketball Association and you were confused as to why it doesn't make sense for you to call yourself world champs? Yeah, we know that y'all allowed a team from another country, Toronto, Canada, to come into your league, but it's still called the National Basketball Association. You know why? Because it's in America. Yes. Is the NBA the best league in the world? Duh. Does the NBA have the best players in the world? Duh. Do they travel from everywhere around the world to get to the NBA? Duh. Is the NBA still N as a National Basketball Association? Yes. So if that's the national, which association would then be international? That's literally what FIBA is for. FIBA, may have heard of it, may not. It's the International Basketball Federation. Keyword international. Who is under FIBA? I don't know, the World Cup, the Olympics, tournaments that have teams from around the world that internationally compete for what? A world title to be called the best in the world. You cannot be the best in the world only playing teams in your country. This makes no sense. This is why Noah Lyles is upset about it. Was his comments forced? Absolutely. Was it corny? Even more corny. It was a little cringe to watch, to be honest with you. Was it wrong? No, it wasn't wrong. But think about it. He is a track athlete. If he's in America and he's considered the fastest man in America, how in the world can he call himself a world champ when he gonna have to face a Jamaican, a Bohemian, somebody on that track ready to take him down. Until you take those people down, you cannot call yourself a world champ. It's really that simple. I had to talk about this because it's just so frustrating to hear like, I thought that something that would be common sense is just not common sense. And in perfect timing, Team USA taken down by Lithuania. Huh. You can't make this up. So we're gonna react to this video. We're gonna watch the full game highlights as we always do here. We're gonna break down whatever we need to break down. I actually watched this game, so I got a pretty close look and I can point out a lot of things that I thought that Lithuania exploited um, against the US. So we definitely gonna talk about all that today. If you're new to this channel, this is what we do. We react to a bunch of videos like this and we have fun with it and we keep it objective, NBA content, whatever it is. So be a part of the family, subscribe. We are on our way of 5,000 subscribers. We have a big giveaway coming. I gave a lot of details about that in my blog, so you gotta check that out and know the details. But without further ado, let's get into this video. Let's lock in. Let's get it. Showdown between the United States and the red, white, and blue, and the whites really going on. Mm, the first the possession. Way, uh, and already Anthony Edwards comes out. So first the possession. At the World Cup was nine Setting years the tone. In Barcelona in the semifinals, which the USA rolled the victory 96 to 68. Nice. Ooh. Here's Valanciunas. I like that. I like that. I like that. I like that. With in New Orleans is with USA coming off the bench. He had been starting. Again. Coming off the bench. Nice. Come on, Anthony Edwards. Jokovitis. Throw it up. And the ball. Good catch by Sedekarskis. And then he misses, but goes back up and gets it. Nice job. Valanciunas makes a stand, showing leadership for Lithuania. Uh, shot. He set. Mm. You know what that is. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh what my god. Nice move. The savvy shown by That's beautiful. Brunson. Okay. Hey, it ain't an NBA three. It's a little closer. It's a mid range for him. <laughs> that helps. Good pass one more. Yeah. Automatic. Automatic. Edwards 
Edwards gets deep. That's just too easy. That's just too easy. Setting his own pace. You can't speed him up right now. Oh, wow. Ooh. Nice. Boy, he's strokes it as well. Quite possibly the best player in the game. He's going to sit down and Monte Yunus comes in. But Monte Yunus also in for Lithuania. Monte Yunus played really important minutes. Ooh, the good shot. Greece. I like that. Because he's Max Vitas coaching big time over on the sideline. Yeah. Benches. Unselfish. For three. Good. Corner three. Lithuania Unselfish. Yeah. At the start of the game. Use the advantage. Ooh. Wide open from the corner. Good. Lithuania are just not. Hey, right, bro. This this is this is European basketball at its finest. Just what you see here is literally how they play. Like everybody knows, it's not a secret. They pass the ball very well. You know, defensively, they're used to camping the paint. They crash. They camp the paint. In the U.S., they can't do that because obviously the NBA has a defensive three-second rules. They don't, they don't have that in, in Europe. So we, we don't play with those rules. So we have a lot more used to, to that. You could have big, strong men like who can't move, five men who just sit in the paint, arms wide open. Can't really do that in the States. They have to move a little bit more. So a lot of times they're going to get to an offense. They're going to drive, get two feet in the paint, pass out. Like, it's, it's nice. Try to post up Reeves. Mm. He spins, he goes up, oh, and he scores, and he's fouled. They, they started going at Reeves, bro. Shout out to Reeves. I'm a Lakers fan. I love Reeves. But boy. If any other NBA teams watching this game, we might have trouble. They're they, they, they doing it again. Oh, that's just beautiful footwork. Good God. Offensive glass, they're giving themselves extra possessions. The United States has to clean that up. Come off, nice. Well, they have Man. Just given up a dunk by Amantas Benjamin. Group J, the winner of this game, clinches first place in Group J. Both teams will be good in shot. the finals. Cam Johnson stops the good run. Shot, shot. Open looks. Look at the score. Oh my God. Now the turnover. Buck is trying to get it to Karen Alvarez. Pass it up. And the pass. Johnson good pass. Anthony Edwards wide open in the corner. He misses, but nice. For Brandon Ingram. This That's one of the rare the rebounds. The U.S. was was struggling with, against the size for sure. Edwards and they knocked Pulse. it out of his hands. And now Halliburton hands it off to Edwards. And nice. Demsha for three. It's a three. Another. They remain perfect. Seven of seven. Wow. Seven of seven from three. So Sometimes you just gotta tip your cap. Here he is from the That's elbow. beautiful. And this is the Brandon Ingram I think that everybody was expecting to see. Over the shoulder pass to Monte Yunus. It's good. Another three. They did it against Greece last game. This is Lithuania basketball. Base on. Saw that. Ooh. Anthony Edwards is the only one scoring. Bounce pass. Well read by Jackson. A chance to run. Cam Johnson mm, is mm. going to take it all the way. He's oh, look, he hurt himself. And Edwards makes the three. He's got 13. Hey. One more. Kuzminski no need. Got a hand in the face. He makes it. It's incredible. Ingram feeling it. You can see it. Gets it back to Edwards. The, behind the arc. Another three for Edwards. Yo. I think that was probably how 17 of that 29 points. Good. Good job. Good block. Give me that. Good hustle. Good hustle. Good job. Usually they always call that right there a foul just because how it looks. I'm glad they didn't call it a foul. Reward the hustle by the U.S. Oh, good pass. Ooh. Man, that's just beautiful. It seems like every winning your team is really big, too. Good strong finish, boy. Good job. 
Good defense this possession from the United States. Three seconds. Oh my god. <laughs> Yo. Why did Tudor see the pay for like eight seconds, bro? But both bigs are on the bench. They get it back. Hey! And he jams it all. Come on. Come on. That's Brisbane's tough. Elite defender. Hmm. Baseline. I knew it. Kuzmenskis. Gave him too much space. The pass. Oh, my God. Reeves getting killed on defense right now. Brunson. Bounce pass. Portis. He gets nice, the Bobby. The menace. I love what Bobby Portis is doing for this team. Reeves gets into the paint. Knocks it away. Yeah, you're having a Brunson hard day right now. Five on the shot clock. Ooh. He puts it up and in. Mm, I like that, Brunson. Frasdakis and Kuzminskis each have three fouls. Jesus Christ. Anthony Edwards comes right out and hits the jump shot. That's that baseline. Nice. Good feet set three. And he is confident. Good job, boy. Imagine what it would be for the USA if they could come back from this huge deficit okay, to win this game. For three. Oh, I remember those three years against my Lakers in the playoffs. The oh, out. my God. And getting a look at the Italians here scouting tonight. The Italian coaching staff, other than Gianmarco Pazeco, there is Normantas. Big shot for Normantas. All right, they cut it to 10. To a 10 point Let's see. Bridges. Nice, Bridges. I like how low he was just dribbling. USA back into their floppy action. Traditional NBA set. Floppy. Bridges nice, Bridges. The there we go. Come on. That's what y'all need. It up and misses, but the ball falls to Normantis. Can they get it? No, they cannot. Brunson has it. Ooh. And he just gets all the way to the rim. Halliburton also comes <laughs> in. And Monte Yunus. Puts it up and wow. in. Coming off the bench, Monte Yunus spelling Valanchunas. Demsha also in. And Edwards falls down. Here's Jokobitis. Hands it off. Hey! From I haven't seen no big USA dunks, bro. Come on, man. And Sedekaris flies Jesus in. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Edwards. But there's Jokobitis <laughs> hey. for the follow. I <laughs> think was so nice. What Jeez. a finish going right at Monte Yunus. Jeez. Goes right at Bancaro, passes it back to Dimchuk. No way. Who misses the three. Yep, offensive rebounds. Ben just puts it up. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that's what he does. He's a three-point shooter. In the left corner. As is Ingram, who's in the right corner. Bridges Ew. from downtown. Rattles it in. That was ugly, but it worked. <laughs> now the pass up to Brandon Ingram. Brandon Ingram gets it deep. That's nice. Puts it up and in. That was so easy to miss match. Break him down. Hey. Ooh. Oh my god. Nice. Corner. And the ball. Oh, look at that. Fortunate for Lithuania. Nice. The ball lands in the hands of Kuzminskis. I remember in all these plays too. And he scores from the baseline. Ingram again pushed out. Look at him turn. Oh, goodness me. Just call him buckets. Ben just puts it up. They battle, and Kuzmitz gets with the putback. Just tougher. That's, that, that was the tone for me. Like, they were just outplaying them. Like, Back toughness. Oh, my God. And this is, but there's Once again, the offensive board, toughness. Give me that. Yep. Reeves, you look bad today, bro. That happens, man. It's a part of the game. Halliburton into the paint, hands it off to Portis. Good D. Good D. Mismatch against Reeves. Yeah, you got to come out. They got to take him out. Here goes Reeves into the paint, does a great job. Yeah. Wow. Maybe not. <laughs> yep, post him up again. Oh, diagonal screen. Post him up. ISO. Baseline. Easy. Every time. Edwards. And cometh the hour, cometh Edwards. To the lead, back to 10 points for Lithuania. The men from the Baltics. 
Anthony Edwards for three. Oh my God. 25 points. It's like all of his points are easy too. Am I wrong? Prasdakis for three. Shoot. Gives it right back. Right back at you. Hmm. Pass the job. And the response yeah. by Portis yeah. and he is fouled. Good job, Bobby. Arguably the best defender in this USA team. Prasdakis. Gets it deep, loses his hat footing, gets it to Benjus. Oh my three from the corner. The Bro, plane. nothing is worse than when you just felt like you've done it all and they the still hitting threes. Oh, I hate his shot. No, oh, <laughs> I remember that. So it's an eight-point lead for Lithuania. I hate that shot. He's gonna drive. He's gonna put it up over his New Orleans Pelicans teammate. To say late. NBA Commissioner David Stern as well. Here nice. is Brunson. Really good move. Back to four. Back to four. There's Rolling a chance. Let's see what Lithuania can do. He drives in, passes to mm, he mm. gets in. Good hands. Oh, uh, Let's go. Come on, come on. Right on cue. Oh, oh. believe it. You cannot be. I, I obviously tried not to stop. But, like, what what do you do? <laughs> yeah. The, the, what do you do? You, you literally can't do nothing but laugh. Because that makes no sense. Serious! Watch this. How in the world does he score? Great D. How does he survive that one? Look at that. Almost had it. Toughness once again. 50-50 balls. Lithuania was getting them all. That's the kind of shot. Not saying that Anthony Edwards ain't tough, because obviously he was the well, toughest probably really on the court, but just the theme Edwards. of the game. And Edwards again. Speaking of him, bro, he's Better going crazy. Give it to him. Everywhere is going to be excited about this team as they continue oh to pour it on. Oh, Edwards just. Throws it down. And what I love Bro, it looks so is how easy. The responded against the adversity to start the second half. Nice. Yeah, that's the game for sure. Has it Give it to him. To oh. <laughs> they need buckets and they need stops. Edwards steps back. For three. Nice. Oh my. Another one. Halliburton and Brunson, <laughs> Edwards, Bridges, and Vaccaro. They're very small and skilled. Bridges from deep. It's good. Oh, come on. Yeah, it's over. Yeah, it's over. Both. So with 28.9 seconds left, this is a very important chance for Brunson in the USA. Look how big that arena is. Oh, you miss it. Brunson makes two or three and gets it back to a five point game. Oh, Normantis. Oh, he doesn't get it. Back Carroll comes oh up with God. the steal. The three point shot. shot from the corner is oh. no good. And now Dempsey has it. The wide open floor. He's going to go in for the dunk. And Lithuania have dodged the bullet. They have done it. Wow. They have <laughs> the USA to clinch first place in Group G. Group J. Thoughts. Not many, not a lot of thoughts. Like, it's simple. I believe that the USA is, you know, the argument is always that the USA didn't bring their best players. It doesn't matter if that's the argument. We know where the best players are. But in competition, it doesn't matter. You cannot say, oh, if, if I had my boys here, I would have won. Like, your boys ain't here right now. This is the team that you brought. So this is the team that you're going to have to fight with. Do I think that they could still win this tournament? Absolutely. This, this game, honest, honestly, like, doesn't mean much. They still have to go to the quarterfinals. They still clinch their Olympic um, um, spot where all of the, of course, the best players in the country will play. But this should be a lesson. Like, this should be a lesson to them to not get comfortable. There was a quote a few days ago saying they ain't worrying about Montenegro. They ain't worrying about Lithuania. They beat Montenegro, Montenegro barely and lost to Lithuania. So my camera decided to die.
which is okay. Great game by Lithuania. I think they played their hearts out. I think they knew what was at stake. And I think they wanted a little bit, just a little bit more, in my opinion. They played tougher, 50-50 balls. They were, they were getting them all. And that's the result. Until the next video, love y'all to death. Keep your eyes on these World Cup games. They are great games. You get to see really great international competition as well. Expand your horizons as a basketball enthusiast, a basketball fan. That's very important. So, until the next video, love y'all to death. Peace.